spin my head right round, right round when you go down, when you go down, down. So we have our first question about Gabe, Jace, and Ash. We know that they met in college. Did you write their backstory to help with character development? Have you ever considered writing maybe a prequel to the Breathless Trilogy? And is there anything you can tell us on these three best friends? Um, no, I, I, most of it was done uh, in my head. I didn't actually sit down and write, you know, like a story or a scene from college. Um, most of my thinking time is done at night after I go to bed. It'll keep me up late at night. Uh, thinking about details, you know, what they were like in college, you know, how they met, and then most of the little details kind of seep through in the, in the narrative or in the course of dialogue uh, in the stories. But um, no, I don't have any plans to write a prequel uh, for the Breathless Trilogy. I could hear fans' hearts breaking from here. <laughs> <laughs> what inspired the Breathless Trilogy um, for you? Basically, I, I get asked that a lot, and my answer is always the same for that. Um, basically, the Breathless Trilogy is a marriage between my Sweet series, which is you know a highly erotic series, and my Harlequin Desires, which are not highly eroticized, but mm -hmm. they have you know the, the Harlequin Desire line has you know as their staple you know wealthy alpha you know gorgeous men uh, you know very dominant. Um, so for me, it was, I love both kinds of stories. I love the Sweet Series, I love the Harlequin Desire, so really the Breathless Trilogy is kind of like a more highly eroticized, longer, you know, Harlequin Desire for me because I took the elements from both sets of those books, you know, my favorite elements, and combined them, you know, into one trilogy. So it was a lot of fun, you know, for me to write and I enjoyed it because it was like getting free reign you know, to write a much longer, highly, more highly eroticized Harlequin Desire. Aside from romance novels, what genre of books do you like to read? I am a literary snob in that I only read romance. Um, that's, <laughs> that's, that's what I enjoy. I, I just don't care, um, you know, for other, other kind of books. I like my happily ever afters. Uh, it's what I love to read and I write what I love to read. So I, I, I'm pretty ignorant of, uh, the outside genres other than romance. How early did you realize that you wanted to become a romance novelist? Um, you know, I'm not one of these authors who said, you know, when I was 12 years old, I've always wanted to be an author. Now, I was writing very early, uh, at a very early age. I used to take, you know, the 200 page, you know, five subject notebooks, and I would write longhand entire novels because it's what I loved you know, doing, and I wrote them solely for me. Uh, back then, you know, romance authors aren't, weren't as accessible as they are now, and you really had a different image. You know, romance authors were up here, and the rest of us peons were down here, and they were on the pedestal, and so for me, being an author was a pipe dream. It wasn't even something I gave credence to until after you know my third child was born and um, I decided then to you know to, to try my hand at writing and publication you know but for the earlier in my life I, I wouldn't even have thought it was possible. I guess elaborating on that um, would you say that the accessibility is there because of um, the, gen the genre is so popular now and we see a lot of books like Fifty Shades and I just you know sorry to reference that but that's everybody's reference point right now. Are you, do you feel that that is opening doors for the romance genre or uh, oh, oh, do you feel like that? Oh, uh, absolutely. I mean, well, the romance genre has always been extremely popular. And what I think makes authors more accessible now is not necessarily, you know, particular books, but the internet has mm -hmm. made authors way more accessible. You know, in the old days, the only way you could get in touch with them was by sending a fan letter to their publisher who may or may not, you know, pass it on to the author, but, you know, now, you know, authors are on Twitter, they're on Facebook, you know, they have right. their, you know, websites and they actually talk and interact and that kind of, you know, brings authors down to, you know, the reader's level and readers realize and understand that authors are just normal, average, everyday people 
you know, and not like I thought back in the 80s <laughs> and 90s that, you know, they were all, sil you know, sitting on silk pillows with the, you know, cabana boys <laughs> waiting, you know, on them hand and foot, you know, it, the internet, I think, gave readers a more realistic view of authors and, you know, they could see that, you know, they were just normal people. And, you know, I absolutely feel that, um, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey, Love It or Hate It, has helped the romance genre in that, you know, many people who picked up Fifty Shades liked it and wanted to explore the genre and buy other authors. So, I mean, yes, I think it's been a very good thing for readers and romance authors because, you know, many of us have been writing in the genre for years, you know, before Fifty Shades arrived on the scene. And, you know, so it opened up an even broader audience for us than what we were experiencing before. Before we go, is there a message that you would like to share with your fans? Oh, I'm just, I, I love, love, love my fans. I gush every time I have a book release, which as you know is often because I write a lot <laughs> of books in a year, but I'm always very careful and I always take the time to express my very genuine appreciation to my readers. And I tell them all the time, when one of my books hits a bestseller list, I am not hitting a bestseller list. I tell them they're hitting the bestseller list because I can write, anybody can write a book. It doesn't mean you're writing a bestseller. Readers put those books on the bestseller list. And so my readers do that for me with every book that I release. And so I owe them a lot. I owe the, my entire career to my readers because if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be where I am. I wouldn't you know, have best-selling novels. So I absolutely adore them. I love them. I love interacting with them. I love, you know, chatting with them, you know, on Facebook and Twitter and not just about my books. I love to dish books with anybody who will listen. That's definitely yes. <laughs> and we're definitely big fans of your work and we are just thrilled. Like I can't wait to get my hands on the book, which is out now. So I want to say thank you so much and we'll just continue to support you in everything that thank you do. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It was great talking with you. <laughs>